Hello, my name is Brian Lawfer, Vice President here at QuoteWorks. This video will introduce you to QuoteWorks procurement with ConnectWise, whether you have the ConnectWise purchasing module or not. We have other videos on our website that discuss placing online orders, tracking your orders, purchasing sourcing, and other features of the purchasing window. The QuoteWorks purchasing window is the starting point, where you go for all of your purchasing needs. You can place orders, create POs, track orders, send status updates to your customers, launch ConnectWise tickets associated with purchased items, and more. QuiltWorks can create purchase orders in ConnectWise and receive items against those purchase orders. If you create your purchase orders in ConnectWise, you can still receive items in QuiltWorks and QuiltWorks can mark them as received in ConnectWise. I will show both scenarios. Let's first create a purchase order in ConnectWise via QuoteWorks based on a ticket that QuoteWorks created in ConnectWise when converting the quote to an order. Okay, so if I scroll over to the right here, you'll see my ConnectWise ticket numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a search for ticket number 619, and that's going to show me all the items on that ticket that I created via QuoteWorks. And then I'm going to go ahead and select Tech Data as my vendor. So let's go ahead and place the order just for the tower server. So now, if I look down here, you'll notice that I've met my free shipping minimums, and I can go ahead and place my order. To do that, all I'm going to do is place online order, uh, to, and it'll also create the PO for me as well. And then from here, what I'm going to do is click on the ellipsis button, and what that's going to do is it's going to get the next uh, purchase order number in sequence. And something that you'll notice here is that I've got TD appended to the end of my purchase order number. And that will actually enable me to quickly peruse a list of PO numbers and know what vendor that PO number is for. And that vendor uh, code suffix can be customized per vendor as well. And then I can enter a description and a reference ID that would be helpful when looking up this purchase order in quote works. This could be like a job name or a stage of a product or a project. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say just the server and then a reference ID of server install. So that way it would be easy for me to find later on. And we have other videos uh, that review the uh, the process of placing electronic orders, so I'm just going to go ahead and place this. And if you have questions on that, you can definitely uh, review those videos. Now let's create a manual purchase order in QuoteWorks, meaning that we are not placing the order electronically with our vendor. Typically, this would be for distributors other than Tech Data, Ingram Micro, Cynix, or DNH. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the rest from this ticket, and I'm going to click on Create PO. And then just like I did before with the electronic order, I'm going to go ahead and obtain the next PO number in sequence. And then um, from here we'll add the additional uh, reference information. So the ref ID was server install. And the description will be maybe remainder of install. And I am going to export to ConnectWise. And I'm just going to click on OK. And then I'm just going to select the vendor. Um, by default, it's it's trying to search for tech data for me because that's the name of my vendor. And it did find it. Otherwise, you can search for other uh, vendors inside of ConnectWise. So it, just like that, we created the PO inside of ConnectWise. It's that easy. Now, if you don't have the ConnectWise purchasing module, QuoteWorks can create the PO for you in either QuickBooks or Sage 50 US Edition, also known as Peachtree, and we have another video that walks you through that process. Now that we've created that PO, let's take a look at it inside of ConnectWise. And here's the PO that we just created. You'll notice that we have the vendor, and if we go under products, here's the three products that were on that purchase order. 
And let's create one more purchase order in QuoteWorks that will correspond with a purchase order that I'll manually create in ConnectWise, meaning QuoteWorks will not be the one generating that purchase order inside of ConnectWise. So you might have your purchasing person that already has their workflow set up inside of ConnectWise, and what we'll be able to do is actually receive items against a purchase order that's already inside of ConnectWise. So let's go ahead and select our ticket number here and find that. And then we'll go ahead and create um, our PO uh, just for the, the switch itself. And we'll go ahead and get our PO number. And just call this switch. and I'm unchecking the export to ConnectWise. And you know, if this is the route that you would normally do um, in the ConnectWise setup, you would have an option to not have this option set. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. And we've created the PO inside of QuoteWorks only now. So now that I've created several purchase orders, let's move over to the Purchase Orders tab. Um, for uh, purchase orders that I created by uh, sending the items electronically through like Tech Data, Ingram, Cinex, DNH, I can get real time tracking information, uh, status updates, and serial numbers by clicking on these buttons here. Um, I can also see if an order was manually entered or electronically sent to my vendor via this column here. So the M, are the, these are the ones that I manually created in QuoteWorks, and the E is the one that I created and sent the electronic order to Tech Data here. I can also see if I had QuoteWorks create a purchase order in an external solution like QuickBooks or ConnectWise, and that's in this column right here. So you'll notice the last order that I placed for that switch, um, I did not send to ConnectWise, but those server installs, I did. Um, and down a little bit further, you'll see that these were sent to QuickBooks because of that QB. So let's move over to the ordered items tab. So the previous tab that I was on, the purchase orders tab, that allows me to see all of the items grouped together by an individual purchase order. Now the ordered items tab allows me to see all of the items um, no matter what purchase order that they're on. So in this case, you know, I could search by ticket number. So if I was to search for ticket number 619, I can see all of the items that are on ticket 619 even though they're split across multiple uh, purchase orders. I can also on this screen search by company, uh, purchase order, whether it be my internal purchase order or a purchase order number that the customer gave to me. If I had placed my orders electronically, my serial numbers and tracking numbers would automatically be retrieved and shown here. You also have the ability to manually enter the serial numbers and tracking numbers as well. So I'm going to go ahead and manually do that. So I'll go ahead and add a tracking number here and this will be for UPS ground and just copy and paste our tracking number there. And now we've got our tracking number. I can also manually add my serial number. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll go ahead and do that with a, a couple of other ones as well here. Now let's go back over to the Purchase Orders tab here. And so if you do not have the ConnectWise purchasing module, you're probably using your tickets to track your serial numbers. And I can easily put my serial number on my ConnectWise ticket. The first thing that I'm going to do is just right click anywhere here on my item and select Copy Special. And what that's going to do is it's going to put my part number and serial number into the clipboard. Then I'm just going to click on the ticket number and that's going to go ahead and launch ConnectWise in my browser and take me right to that ticket. Now all I need to do is go to products, select my part, and right here in the customer description I can just paste and now my manufacturer part number and serial number will be on my description here. Now one of the reasons to do this is so that when the ConnectWise invoice is created off of this ticket the item serial number will be on the invoice as well. Now once you've received your item uh, at your physical location, we can click on Receive Item inside of QuoteWorks. 
And if you're using serial numbers, it'll ask you to um, select from a list of the serial numbers. Um, where that's important is if there's like a quantity of five for a particular item, you can receive each individual serial number. And what I'm going to do is just click on OK. And then from here, uh, just to update the date received, we've already got the serial number in there. And if you use locations or asset tags or the MAC address, you can go ahead and put those in at this time as well. I'm just going to click on OK. So at this point, we've received the item inside of QuoteWorks, and it's showing me that one of one has been received. Um, I can also see the date that the item was received. I can see at the top here that it's actually linked to a ConnectWise PO, but I have one item that has not been uh, sent to my accounting software yet. If I was linked to QuickBooks, um, we would be able to then send the item over to QuickBooks. But in this case, because I am focusing on ConnectWise here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the item and I'm going to post received items against ConnectWise PO item. And now you'll notice that in what I used to have as an add comment, I have one item marked as received in ConnectWise PO, and it's got the PO number and then the date, which is great. So that way you know every time you've received an item inside of ConnectWise. And if I go back up over here, you'll see that um, I, I've already sent all of my items over to my accounting software. And that's important to note. Um, so that way you always know what's been sent to ConnectWise and what hasn't. Okay, so now that we've received uh, some items against a PO that QuoteWorks created, let's go ahead and receive an item against a PO inside of ConnectWise that QuoteWorks did not create. So let's go ahead and go to our switch that we created earlier. And then what I'm going to do is um, point out a couple of things first. Uh, you'll notice that right here, the, uh, it's not linked to ConnectWise and over here it's not showing that it was linked to ConnectWise either. So what I'm going to do now is just receive my item, select my serial number just like it did before, and click on OK. So at this point I've received my item. Um, over on the right hand side here it is showing me that I've received an item and I haven't sent it to my accounting software yet. So now what I'm going to do is just right click and post items against ConnectWise PO item just like I did before but this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in my ConnectWise PO number. And I've already created my PO inside of ConnectWise and I'm just going to click on OK. And now from here it's going to ask me what PO number, uh, PO item I want to receive against. You know, in this case I only have one item on this PO, but had I had multiple ones it would prompt me to select which one. Click on OK. And at this point now, we've received the item inside of ConnectWise. Now that we've received our items inside of ConnectWise via QuoteWorks, let's go ahead and take a look at it inside of ConnectWise. And we'll go ahead and search first for the one that QuoteWorks created. And if we go over to our products, here's our received item and you'll notice that my, my serial number is actually right here in the serial number field. Now what I'm going to do is find the one that QuoteWorks created. Now it's showing that it's not found and that's because we received all the items that were on that PO. And if I go under products, here's our received item and there's my serial number. So another great feature of the purchasing screen is the ability to quickly email an updated status of items to your customer. Now, how many times has your customer asked, when is my server coming in? Well, we've sim simplified that process with a right-click option that'll email your customer the tracking number that is even hyperlinked for them. And the, the to email address is going to be defaulted to the sold to contact, and the from is going to be for you. So all you need to do is click on send, and you've sent the tracking information to your customer. There's no digging around. It's all there in one place. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Without the centralized QuoteWorks purchasing, our customers were tracking all of this information in a combination of tickets and spreadsheets, which were not easily searchable. Now, all of this information is tracked, stored, and searchable all in one place. This truly enables you to get a hold of your purchasing process. If you have questions about ConnectWise, purchasing, or any other questions about QuoteWorks, 
please feel free to give us a call at 407-248-1481.